A reading from the book of Luke for the third Wednesday of Advent. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, are you the one who is to come or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, are you the one who is to come or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have good news proclaimed to them, and blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The word of the Lord. Friends, in today's gospel, John the Baptist summons two of his disciples to ask if Jesus is the one or should we look for another? When this inquiry is conveyed to Jesus, the Lord does not respond theoretically, but rather by pointing to things that are happening. Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have good news proclaimed to them. Was Jesus doing all of this in the literal sense? Yes that he was a miracle worker and a healer was one of the most fundamental perceptions regarding Jesus. When God came among us in Christ, he effected the work of repairing his broken and hurting creation. He is not interested simply in souls, but in bodies as well. And so we hear indeed of the man born blind, of Bartimaeus, of the paralyzed man lowered down through the roof to Jesus, of the woman with the flow of blood, of the man who is deaf and dumb to whom Jesus says, Ephatha, be opened. We hear of Lazarus and the daughter of Jairus and the son of the widow of Nain. Today's reflection asks, what does this gospel say about the importance of the physical as well as the spiritual in God's eyes?